yesterday we were discussing one topic what is the topic artificial intelligence the basics of artificial intelligence let us now see quick recap of yesterday's class okay we were discussing about the importance of artificial intelligence and it is in this context we discussed about data being the foundation of that technology we saw how data refers to anything that we give as input to computer systems which is stored when you have multiple data pointers for example you have google maps on that you have a rapido search on that you have your zomato data on that you have your instagram check in location simultaneously so many of these and you repeat the same pattern again and again every day we have seen this example so by constructing all this possible data pointers and giving them a structure you translate that data into information the difference between data and information is the presence of structure and context okay this data becomes the fuel for artificial intelligence how when you put this fuel in a machine and help it learn better by predicting better that methodology is called machine learning in this process we have seen the concept of supervised learning unsupervised learning supervised means you are guiding it you are telling this is how you should behave to the machine unsupervised me learning means it will decide on its own a higher level of sophistication reinforcement learning is you give every possible probability every probability is given to that out of those probabilities let's say for example out of out of let's say 100 trials 10 of them will click you take the 10 trials where it clicked and stimulate a set of conditions again and again so that the machine learns through repetition and that is called reinforcement learning okay these are the basic terminology that you might get in prelims level we stopped at that point now moving forward we were talking about artificial intelligence and neural networks we spoke about neurons and how our mind has this neurons as interlinks and we have seen some terminologies like hop field network restricted boltzmann machine and uh, similar such technologies in the context of machine learning right now if i have to simplify these terminologies and explain the link between them let's say artificial intelligence means your general intelligence normal um, ability to think and reason ml means if you give data it will learn otherwise it can't learn and then artificial neural networks are the prerequisites for recognizing some pattern it is like the infrastructure that is necessary for translating data into information through pattern recognition clear how is our mind sensing danger opportunity everything it is through this neural networks only our mind has the ability to link neurons and create an argument or a logic that is because of this artificial neural net sorry general neural networks and artificial intelligence emulates this neural networks is this clear till now do i have to repeat no need right okay generative ai see chat gpt for example you ask something it is giving is it thinking or is it because it has learned every possible thing and it is just rearranging it is just rearranging because it has learned everything possible so when you say generative ai don't take it literally it doesn't mean it is creative it is just trained on every possible information that you can find out there the collective information that human beings can have is learnt by chat gpt and it is dormant if you tap it and ask this is what i want it will give you if you don't ask you will not get it clear so this is the most important thing you need to know A generative ai doesn't mean human creativity is replaced it is just rearranging the existing knowledge this point can be asked in prelims even if you say it is creating something new it is writing new songs it is writing new um, you know how do i put it it is writing it is coming up with new music 
it is just rearranging the existing patterns. How do I know? This is the right answer. Go to 2020 prelims. There is a list of one, two, three, four, five. List of things are given. Okay. Some five options are given there. According to the official key of uh, UPSC, if the option given is the statement, if I am not wrong, the second statement in 2020 science and technology question is that artificial intelligence can create new songs and music. Everybody thought that it is right. But conceptually, this is the point. That is the year where people were very excited about this elimination techniques and they were advocating if you see anything in science and technology, mark all the above option because it is usually true. And this is what UPSC did. It took that simple funda because AI was just beginning to make the news. Chat GPT did not come until then. It is only in 22. But AI was a new technology where you need to understand the basics. Generative AI doesn't mean it is replacing humans. It is just working on probabilistic terms. And UPSC wanted you to know and test and that is why it has placed there. Everybody thought that this is a mistake. But over a period of time, it became more obvious. Large language models, LLMs. This is the next concept. So this is specialized generative AI for text. ChatGPT, for example, is an LLM, open AI. Okay. There is some technology behind it. What is that? How is it program? That is not the scope of UPSC CSE exam, but just understanding and being aware of what it is and its utility for technology is definitely important to at least have an understanding and a conversation, let's say with a scientist. That is the bare minimum level of knowledge you need to have. So what is this LLM? It's a type of generative AI that focuses on one, understanding and two, generating human like test. For example, ChatGPT, Bharatjan, Google Bard. This Google Bard now became Gemini. Okay. How is it working? The beauty of this technology is there are billions of parameters and depending on what you are asking, it understands it in your own language, translates that into computer language and then again gives the output in the natural language that we have. That is English. It is not giving an answer in Python or Java or C++. And that is the breakthrough that we have had. If you know what problem we should be solving, today we will have a solution for that. It can do a lot of things except one thing. It cannot enhance your memory. It cannot enhance and learn for you. Humans ability to learn is still a choice that human beings should take. We cannot outsource it to technology. And that is why no matter how many technologies come, you are still relevant because you are supposed to learn. If you have chat GPT, you also will have chat GPT. What do you do with it? So if this is the level of competition with chat GPT, again, it is the same level. It might have increased, but what you do with it will change. And that depends on the level of expertise and understanding in that subject. Therefore, I keep saying the same thing. The future belongs to those who have the ability to ask the right questions and learn quick, fail fast. The future is not about memory. It is about understanding. If you know the why, the what will follow. Clear? And this is the large language model that we're talking about. Remember another simple point. So write down these points. Wherever you will make mistakes in prelims, please note them down. Okay. And once this topic is over, I want you to go back, open your digital notes and store it there. Whatever you are learning in the class, go back, open in Google Docs, OneNote, Evernote, whatever. The reason why I'm saying digitally is because over a period of time, you will learn so many things. Some things will become old. You want to erase them, add, subtract, divide, whatever. And it is not practically possible to do that in physical copies. It is okay if you're doing that in class, but translate that into some digital copy with 
today's level of technology it is not difficult okay so please leverage technology don't be resistant and say i don't find technology comfortable if you are not comfortable your competitor will be and you will lose that edge okay so remember this point llms do not think like humans they just predict based on probability clear these are the two basics that i wanted you to follow today's themes one inequality two basics of artificial intelligence and we will stop today's class here so what you should be doing at the end of this go back refer to your inequality learn understand write your own handwritten notes or anything and digitize them in the future if any new dimension comes up let's say there is a book like this or a page like this you wrote down a lot of information 3 months later you realized this is all nonsense i don't need this in my notes you erase it once this is erased you'll only you only be left with what is important that is the advantage of digital notes okay one strict warning never dump copy pasted information there the temptation to copy paste everything will spoil this very activity because it is easy to copy and paste but is it coming from your own understanding or you are just doing that activity out of the fear of missing out on information and getting a psychological satisfaction of notes you are not here to become material collector but a district collector please remember this on this note we will stop here two concepts inequality artificial intelligence basics clear see you tomorrow